Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very fresh all drugstore makeup spring tutorial. And I am so excited because I really love this look. It's so simple. I really love it and it's perfect when you want to look glowy but you have oily skin. So I kind of give you guys a little bit of tips um, in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I look crazy and you can probably hear the gardeners outside but um let's start off with this look some i haven't shaved my pits one thing i really love about this look is that you can really make it really full coverage or you can make it really really light coverage and i know my eyebrows do look crazy um like i just said but we're gonna make them look not crazy throughout the video so i filled them in with my nyx um brow pencil which i really really love this is also an all drugstore makeup look. There's only one thing that isn't drugstore, and that's my setting spray. But yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my one heck of a blot primer, my favorite. I really love spring looks just because they um, are really glowy, and I love them. And I love this primer, as you guys know. Since I do have really oily skin, it's really hard for me to use really glowy products. So what I do is I really focus on doing that in my skincare routine. And when I know I want to go for a glowy look, I will do my skincare routine like 30 minutes before I'm going to do my makeup. Which you should always do that so you can see better results. So not everything is slipping and sliding and everything had its time to set. So usually... I will do that but I will like put a little bit more moisturizer on and just like let it sit in my skin so that's something I really recommend if you have oily skin and still want to get that natural glowy look so I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 104 right now this matches me perfectly because I haven't gotten a tan I haven't been out um, like to the pool or anything so this matches me perfectly I wore my uh, Makeup Forever foundation the other day and I bought that like mid-summer and it is so dark and I was like wow like I really get dark during the summertime. It was like so orange. It was really bad. Um, so what I like about this look is that you can go really full coverage or you can look you can go really light coverage and as you can tell I am really breaking out because your girl has just been recovering from Easter still. I had so much chocolate. It was actually really, really bad. So what I have been doing is I'm just putting about this much foundation on and just blending it out. As you guys can tell, I don't want to jinx myself. But this side of my face is doing pretty alright. But the rest of my face is not doing alright. So we are just going to build it up on, in those places so I can get a pretty natural coverage I guess you can say even though I'm either really really full coverage but this look is exceptional because it still looks like really flawless Now I'm just going to go in with some more foundation where I need it because I don't want this big old, these three big mountains on my face having all the attention. So I'm just going to put it where I need it, where I'm like a little bit more red and stuff. And then when I have like leftover foundation, I just scoop it up with my beauty blender and I'll put it on my face. When I want my coverage to stay in, one, stay in one place, especially on a pimple, I won't like dab it, dab it really hard like I do on the rest of my face. I'll kind of dab lightly so the coverage stays on my on that pimple. And for some reason, my nose has been really dry, and I'm just really confused on why. 
it has been so dry. And that pimple looks like it does not want to get covered. So if you like to color correct and stuff, you can go ahead and do that. I don't like to do that just because it's like an extra step for me. And I don't really find the need to do it. I'm not embarrassed of pimples, like, you know. But it does ruin the look when you're going for, like, full coverage, you know. And then what I would usually do is really define my brow with the brow pencil and bl uh, a brow brush. And really define them with cleaning up with concealer. But when I'm doing this look, I just go with my beauty blender and I just blend it out. I've been using this eye cream I really don't like. So stay tuned to my favorites videos because I'm going to have some non-favorites in there and I know I never do that but you know they've just been playing me and I just don't understand why so now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and if you guys do know it's this is not my favorite concealer just because it creases so much on me and I don't understand why because my Tarte Shape Tape is so full coverage and that one barely creases on me and this one is way thinner and I just don't get it why it's so why it is so creasy and I just don't get it so I'm gonna I wouldn't normally put some on my forehead but you know I don't want to highlight that area To set my under eye area, I'm going to go with my Wet n Wild Contouring Powders. And I'm going to mix the two brightening shades. These are my favorite. If you can't tell, they are bomb. To set my face, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Powder. And I'm just going to set it up. Add more coverage to my face and all of that. This powder is a little orange, so I don't really go ham with it. But with this foundation, it also like evens it out because it's pretty light and kind of pink. Not super pink, but it is pretty pink. And it just evens it all out. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena Healthy Skin in 30 Sun Kissed. And you can go ham with the bronzer because we're not going to contour today. Um, we're not going to contour, so this is going to be like the main focus. So we're just going to... I'm going to go back in with these two and I'm going to... Use the lightest shade because I'm just going to carve out here. So that's the little trick with this look. Is you didn't contour, but we're going to kind of make it look like you did. While I, I let that kind of sit... I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow gel and I'm going to just set the brows. I'm going to go in with just my e.l.f. brush that I always use to wipe off my bake and I'm just going to wipe off the bake and be careful because your eyebrows are still drying. I'm going to go in with just my shimmery uh, blush. This is Milani Rose Oro. And it's a very shimmery. It's their baked blushes. And this shade is amazing. Definitely recommend you try it out. And I always pat my blush on. And see how it already gave me like a glow. Like no glow. Glow. And I just kind of pack it on. I love blush. So I don't really mind going overboard. And I end up blending out my whole face at the end. And since we are not like doing a full glam blush should be present in my opinion 
So then we're gonna go in with highlight and this is the Master Chrome highlighter. And we are just gonna put it on our face and I'm almost hitting pan on it. I know, crazy. And I'm gonna go in. And this is more of a golden shade. I've been really into my Amrezy as you guys know, which is definitely more of a champagne shade. And this one's very, very golden. But I really love it. I'm going to go into the inner corners. That is also the only thing we're going to do to the eyes. Is go in the inner corners and put it in. In a little bit of my brow bone. I don't want to focus anything there because my eyebrows are pretty gr are growing out. So I don't want to focus a lot there. Oh, and when, when I do this look, I love to put some on my cupid's bow. I used to do that all the time, but I don't know why I've stopped. And then, because I didn't contour my nose, I'm going to highlight it to make it look like I contoured it. And then I'm just going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk stippling brush and blend that highlight out so it's not a stripe on my face. Like I said, the only thing that is not drugstore is my setting spray, and this is the Urban Decay D Slick. I just tried out a couple products this month, and I can't wait for my favorites because I really want to talk about them. While I let that dry, I'm going to pop on some lashes, so I'm going to go in with the Eyler Wispies, and I'm going to tightline um, with my e.l.f. No, this is Wet n Wild eyeliner and I'm gonna put some mascara on and then I'll be back for the lips so now that I have my lashes on I'm gonna do my lips so for lips I'm gonna do this NYX lip liner in burgundy and I need to sharpen it and I'm gonna do this elf lipstick in ruby red and I heard that there's like <gasps> there is it's like a lip balm at the bottom of the lipstick so here's the lipstick and then here's the little bottom to it. I'm gonna try this out. Maybe I, I think I have a lip brush. I'm gonna use it with a lip brush. But let me sharpen my pencil first. I'm always scared to overline my lips when I'm using such a dark shade. So you can really tell how uneven my lips are and it does bother me but I would rather just have it look like that than mess up my lips. So then I'm gonna go in with the little lip balm at the bottom and I'm gonna go in with the lip brush. This isn't a lip brush, but this is the only brush that's clean right now because I really need to clean my brushes. That's why I haven't done a eyeshadow makeup tutorial because I'm waiting to clean them. So I'm gonna put the lip balm on, whoa. The lip balm is so pigmented. I'm really shocked right now. Because this is so pigmented. Like, this is supposed to be the lip balm. I honestly thought this was going to be sheer. on and wow this is so creamy I love this wow guys I am so impressed this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm talking really weird because I don't wanna, I'm getting lipstick all over my teeth, so I guess that's one con, con about this lipstick, but I mean, red lipstick gets on your teeth all the time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.